I'm Ben Stein. My brain is a miraculous instrument. It contains the information I use to protect my money. Five thousand dollars. I'll put it up, but I won't give it up without a fight. But if you're smart enough, quick enough, and lucky enough, you can win Ben Stein's money. since I was a lowercase g. <laughs> Get it? Me and g, that rhymes. But now I'm a big g, and the girls see I got the money. That's why I'm putting $5,000 of my money in my hand. Once again, giving these big hood rats a chance to take it all away from me if they're not afraid to throw down with an OG, original genius. Now let's turn to the gang, to my banger, Cousin Sal, and find out who these people are. Yeah. Thank you, man. First contestant is Mort Caymans. How are you, Mort? Good, Sal. He is a nice freelance magazine writer? Yes, I've done some of that. I'm not familiar with freelance magazine. What are they? Oh, oh that's, okay. it's, it's a great magazine. Uh, yeah, you got to read it. I get you. You've appeared in game shows in Australia and in uh, England? Right. Wow. I, I like to cool? think I'm the only person that's been on three continents, game shows on three continents. Excellent. That's Excellent. May well, well be true, even. We'll have to check with Guinness, <laughs> but uh, that'd be nice. <laughs> How was in, in Australia, the game show? Australia's cool, but they're playing on such a higher level, they just wipe me out completely. Really? Yeah, they, they're professional contestants down there. They don't pay taxes on their winnings. Uh, wow. So, so. Grand prizes, you get to kick Paul Hogan in the nuts. It's very, very bottom. That, that's, that's what I missed out on, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Mort. Thank Next, you. we have uh, Candace Phillips. Hey, Candace. Hi, how are you? She's a personal trainer. Very lovely, too. And, yeah. Thank and you. what's what's going on in your life, Candace? Um, a lot of turmoil. A lot lately, of turmoil, right? but what, sticking what, it out. You better tell us about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I moved out here for a guy that I was seeing, and he ended up not being a very uh, good person. Being a person, so. a guy you were dating in L.A. turned out to be not a nice Actually, guy. Actually, in Vegas. In, in Vegas. Vegas. Oh. A guy you were dating in Vegas turned out to be not a nice guy. That is unheard of. Shocking. Yeah. Shocking. I, I am really amazed. So, I what? only stayed there a week and... What happened? What, why, uh, what happened to him that he wasn't such a good guy? Uh, he was into a lot of, uh, unsavory things. Uh, you know, I think it's... You already met one unsavory guy in <laughs> Vegas. I don't think you'll meet any more. Oh, no. You know, <laughs> ben, specializes, for, uh, ben specializes in women that are starting from scratch. Yeah, I do. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. You, okay. you be, Thanks, you be making up a hypothetical budget. We'll be talking about it later. <laughs> Finally, is Paul Sporleader. Right. And Paul is a middle school teacher. What are you doing this summer, Paul? Uh, this summer, I'm going to ride uh, in a bike ride across the state of Iowa. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. That sounds awful. I can't even stand flying over Iowa in the plane. Iowa is a great place. Iowa is a great place. Oh, really... Ben, your, your butlers wouldn't be seen dead. No, I don't have a butler. <laughs> it's fabulous. Iowa is, first of all, where some of the best bacon in the world comes from. Sure. And also is a very beautiful state. It is. It really right. is. Well, I'm very wrong. nice contestants. Good luck. You're going to need it. Now, everyone, please turn your attention to our game where the Sal tells our first five topics. And they are. Of course that sculpture lights up. It's made out of stoner. <laughs> the torturer didn't have a fourth horse, so he had the prisoner drawn in third. In. Native Americans who won't open a can of Warpath on you. Uh -huh. You say you're not a commie spy? Oh, yes, USSR. <laughs> And the chubby bachelor moved to New Orleans because he heard that all the women were big and easy. <laughs> all right, contestants, in the first round, question worth anywhere from $50 to $150 of my money. We'll start with you, Paul. Please pick a topic. Uh, let's try the torture didn't have a fourth horse, so he had the prisoner drawn and thirded. $50 question used for flogging. What instrument of punishment consists of nine pieces of knotted line or cord fastened to a handle? Paul. Uh, horsetail? No. Candace. Pa paddle? No. Oh. It's a cat of nine tails. Cat of nine tails. $50 toss up. Uh, what a sympathetic audience we have today. Yeah, they're all I knew that Prozac would help. $50 <laughs> question. What form of punishment consists of two rows of people facing one another with weapons, striking at a person running between them? Mort. A gauntlet. Gauntlet it is, Mort. Oh, yeah. Mort breaks on the board. Mort. New category. 
I bought the complete set of aging action figures at FAO Schwarzenegger. <laughs> More. Okay, I'll try. You say you're not a commie spy? Oh, yes, USSR. $150 question. In 1948, Whitaker Chambers accused what State Department official of having been a secret agent for the Soviet Union? Mort? Alger Hiss. Alger Hiss it is. $50. Chambers, himself a former communist, was an editor for what weekly news magazine? Time. Time it is. Very good, Mort. All right. New category. In my last term at Scottish College, I got lucky and made the Aberdeen's list. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's try the chubby bachelor move to New Orleans because he heard that all the women were big and easy. $150 query. What New Orleans nickname may have been coined by Joseph Ingram because it was built around a segment of a circle formed by a graceful curve of the Mississippi River? Mort. The Crescent City. Very good, very good. $50 follow-up, Mort. $50 follow-up. Louisiana is the only state in the union that refers to its political subdivisions by what religious-sounding name? Parishes. Parishes it is, Mort. <laughs> Before I lose any more cash, why don't we take a break? Then we'll come back to see how much more money these werewolves can take away from me right after this. We're back with more of Win My, Ben Stein's money. Right now, Mort is in the lead with $450 of my money. Come on, Candace and Paul. Let's go. Time. What's our new category, Sal? It goes like this. I knew I'd used too much shampoo on the baby's scalp when it left a sticky residue do. Uh. Uh. Mort, you're kicking everyone's ass. Take one of these. Let's try. Of course that sculpture lights up. It's made out of stoner. <laughs> stoner. <laughs> $50 question. What is the more familiar name of Auguste Bartholdi's sculpture, Liberty Enlightening the World? Mort. Statue of Liberty? Yes, she whiz, Candace. <laughs> The Statue of Liberty represents a woman who holds a torch in her right hand on a tablet bearing what date in her left? July 4, 1776. Very good. You got it. Very good, Mark. Very good. New category. The French philosopher saw the world through rosé-colored wine glasses. <laughs> Mark. Yeah, I've done that, too, so I'll say the French philosopher saw the world through rosé-colored wine glasses. Hundred dollar query, in what French philosophical novel did Voltaire satirize the optimism of Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz? <laughs> <laughs> Mort? Candide. Candide it is, very good. In France, Voltaire spread the ideas of what English physicist and Leibniz rival who formulated the law of universal gravitation. Big Isaac Newton. Big Isaac, it is. Big Ike, we call him. We call him Big Ike. That's right. Wow. All right, new category. I had no idea about the mall's checkered flag past until I saw her under the hood. Oh. Less than two minutes remaining in the round. Mort, keep it going. Uh, Native Americans who won't open a can of Warpath on you. $150 question. Centered in northern Arizona, the name of what Pueblo Indian tribe translates as peaceful people? Paul. Navajo. No. Oh, didn't know it, did we, Mort? <laughs> Not so smart now. <laughs> Just kidding. Mort is very smart. Hopi, Hopi, Hopi. $50 toss-up for all three of you. The Hopi snake dance is performed as a petition to the nature gods for what? Paul? Rain. Rain it is. Very good. Uh, Someone else actually answered the question. New category. When the celebrity stalker asked me for directions, I said, just follow the stars. <laughs> Paul? Uh, let's try. I bought the complete set of aging action figures at FAO Schwarzenegger. $100 question. What acclaimed 1977 documentary featured Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, and Franco Columbu in their quest for the Mr. Olympia title? Mort. Pumping iron? Yes, indeed. Pumping iron. <laughs> Sound means the round is over. Mort has $800. He's in first place. He's going to move on. And he's $50. We'll join him. And Candace, Ben is going to take care of you. I really oh, is. Oh, Candace. <laughs> Candace.
Candace, Candace, Candace. Don't make it any worse. <laughs> we feel terrible, too. We wanted you to go on to the next round on the round after that and the very secret round after that. <laughs> Candace, thank you for playing thank our you. game. We shall miss you. You don't have any money to take back. But uh, Yaniv, my bodyguard, will be talking to you. And we come back. These two survivors will try to grab my assets. And I'll get down to the tent and defend my money. wondered what that means, how far smart Ben Stein really is, as if there was some kind of yeah. fake Ben Stein. We're playing a trick on it, they were, we were playing a trick on everyone with a yeah. fake Ben Stein. Well, anyway, welcome back. As this round begins, Mort has $800, Paul has $50, and I have a mere $41.50 remaining of my original $5,000 take, which I'll once again defend by becoming a common contestant. Yeah. Good, good. And Ben, to, to show us how smart you really are, you've never seen these questions I have before, never right? seen them, Sal. All right, makes sense. In that case, whoever has a higher score, whether it's Mort or Paul, go on to face Ben one-on-one -on -one for his 5,000. Mort, Paul, and Ben, it's like Passover dinner here. Let's take a look at the topics, they are. That supermodel in the car wreck was an almost total babe. <laughs> the bad door-to-door -door saleswoman was known as Avon the Terrible. <laughs> Because he kept striking out at the hit singles bar, the songwriter had to lower his old standards. <laughs> the European negotiator pulled the thorny issue from Alliance Paw. <laughs> and dear Ann Ganders, if I flock someone before I'm married, am I a goose woman? <sighs> I'll try the set. Supermodel in the car wreck was an almost totaled babe. Okay, $200. In April 2001, what blonde supermodel sustained near-fatal internal injuries in a car accident? Paul. Uh, Nikki Taylor. Nikki Taylor is right. Go. She has slight brain damage, but you can barely tell the difference. <laughs> New category. Next on the benign o'clock news, the carcinogen everyone's talking about. Paul. Let's try the European negotiator pulled the thorny issue from an alliance paw. $400. Sometimes confused with the quadruple alliance, what post-Napoleonic agreement was reached by Russia, Austria, and Prussia in 1815? Ben. Triple Entente. No. More. Triple Alliance. No. Paul. Triple Axel. Triple... No. The Holy Alliance. Holy Alliance. All right. New category. The degenerate king's favorite courtly spectacle was Circa Jerka de Soleil. Uh, uh, the bad door to door salesman was known as Avon the Terrible. Something like that. $300. What fine gifts and jewelry store was owned by Avon Products, Inc. from 1979 to 1984? Ben. Tiffany. You know that one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You Just category. remember, Candace, if you're off there in the wings somewhere, I, I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> the category is, no, that diminutive actress was not midget fond of oh. Okay, ben. Be next on the B9 o'clock news, the carcinogen everyone's toxin about. Okay, $300. Once widely used as industrial coolants, what group of highly toxic chlorinated carcinogenic compounds was banned in the U.S. in 1978? Ben. PCBs. PCBs is right. <laughs> Here's another. The lusty lexicographer knew how to define a dress, but we often found him looking up skirts. Mm -hmm. I'll ben. try the lusty lexicographer knew how to define a dress, but we often found him looking up skirts. $200. What was the last name of the two brothers whose publishing company bought the rights to Noah Webster's dictionary in 1843? Mort? Miriam? Mario Brothers? No, Miriam, Miriam. that's right. You got it. I didn't hear it. There you go. To head up this atomic bomb project, we need a fissionary leader. More. To head up this atomic bomb project, we need a fissionary leader. That's the one. 500 smackaroos for this one. What U.S. Army general directed the World War II Manhattan Project to develop the atomic bomb? More. Groves. Groves is right. Here's a new one. Every fall, Bob Bark told the leaves to come on down. <laughs> We're less than a minute remaining, Mort. The degenerate king's favorite courtly spectacle was Circa Jerka de Soleil. Okay, $400. <laughs> 
What courtly spectacles featuring poetry, dance, and disguised players were staged in 17th century England by dramatist Ben Johnson and designer Inigo Jones? Ben. Masks. Masks is right. Uh, and the round is over. That's what that sound means. More at $1,500. Yeah, that beats $250. We'll move on the final round. And Paul, you have to hit the road. Oh, Paul, we have enjoyed having you on the show very, very much. Uh, you now have to go over and join Gla Candace in the special room that we have for contestants who lose in the first two rounds. It's a room with a luxurious water bed, a <laughs> music piped in. We have a jacuzzi working there, there now, do indeed. So really, it's nothing wrong with having to go to that room. And uh, we have enjoyed having you on, Paul. We'll take your $250. We'll just bat it back, as I like to do, onto the board. And now we come back and go mano, mano versus a very smart Mort for all 5,000 of my money. Stay tuned. I'm going to get all up in his business, dog. <laughs> Just me and I bow to your boo to nature, everything good and permanent, you and all other human beings. So far, you've taken $1,500 away from me. Excellent score for the first two rounds. Thank you. That is yours to keep no matter what happens. Now you have a chance, it's a darn good one, to walk out of here with all $5,000 of my cash. <laughs> and all you have to do is beat me in what we call the best of 10 tests of knowledge. Could you explain how that game is played, please, to our friend so that he yes. can know how to get into this safe? Oh, I think he knows. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Ben and Moore, you're each going to get 10 questions in 60 seconds. Moore, you can answer any more of those. And Mr. Ben Stein, you get his five grand. Sounds good. Do you want to go first or second? I'll go second. All oh, right. Oh, to your boots, then. Yeah. To your boots. Yeah. All right, Ben. I don't like this guy. He's entirely too smart. <laughs> <laughs> I like to play against people who aren't quite as smart as he is. I know. Talk to the contestant coordinator. I know, it's a contestant. You know, you're right. I don't really assign enough blame no, to him. It's a crying shame. Just a minute, let me take off my glasses. All right, Ben. Okay. Here we go. Ten questions. I shall do my best. 60 seconds. This is going to be fun. It'll That's be what good. it's all about, remember? Yes, it's fun. All right. And let's begin. Once called Little Italy, North Beach is an historic neighborhood in what West Coast city? San Francisco. Yes, in ancient Greece, a trireme was what type of vehicle? A, a boat. Yes. What day of the week was November 22nd, 1963, the day JFK was assassinated? Ooh, I think it was a Monday. No. In Jungian psychology, what term refers to masculine inner personality in females? I'm sorry, say again? In Jungian psychology, what term refers to the masculine inner personality in females? I don't know. What author of the play Seven Guitars founded Pittsburgh's Black Horizons Theater Company? Don't know. What fraction of the total number of seats in the U.S. Senate comes up for election every two years? A third. Yes, the ad jingle for what brand of tuna begins, ask any mermaid you happen to see? Uh, uh, chicken of the sea. Yes, what Chicago Cubs slugger has more 60 home run seasons than any other player? Um, McGuire. No, the name of what small hardware item is also a slang term for a prison guard? A screw. Yes, the emotional folk music known as Fadu originated what European country? Uh, Spain. No, didn't get it anyway. Uh, five right, Ben. Mm. Portugal is the answer. Uh, Sammy Sosa is a cub slugger. August Wilson is the author of Seven Guitars. Mm. Animus. Animus is a masculine. Wow, that's hard. Personality and females. Friday was the day of wow. the week. So five is good, though. Let's see what happens. Wow. Mort? Yes, sir. Is that you making all that noise? Yeah, it was. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> all right, we may have to shoot you on sight. Okay. Good luck. All right, 10 questions, 60 seconds. You have to beat five. Five. All right. It middle must be of the very road. hard because he's a very intelligent Oh, uh, you see what happens? You see what happens? <laughs> ben, you should kick this guy's ass. I'll help. 60 seconds, 10 questions. Let's begin. Once called Little Italy, North Beach is an historic neighborhood in what West Coast San city? Francisco. Yes, in ancient Greece, a trireme was what type of vehicle? It's a boat. Yes, what day of the week was November 22nd, 1963, the day JFK was assassinated? Thursday? No, in Jungian psychology, what term refers to the masculine inner personality in females? Uh, anima. No, what author of the play Seven Guitars founded Pittsburgh's Black Horizons Theater Company? Oh, boy. Uh... Sam Shepard. No, what fraction of the total number of seats in the U.S. Senate comes up for election every two years? A third. Yes, the ad jingle for what brand of tuna begins, ask any mermaid you happen to see? 
Chicken of the sea. Yes, what Chicago Cubs slugger has more 60 home run seasons than any other Sammy player? Sammy Sosa. Yes, the name of what small hardware item is also a slang term for a prison guard? Uh, screw. Yep, the emotional folk music known as Fadu originated what Portugal. Year? That's right, come on out. <laughs> Frankly, you simply know more than I do. I, I played the best seriously. I could, and you simply know more than I do. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed, and I'm humbled, but I do hate you. Here's your $5,000. You are an incredible player. You're one of the best I've ever played Thank against. Thank you very much. And we're out of time. Till next time, I'm going to get three more people. I'm nowhere near as smart as he is. I have a chance to win Ben, ben, ben Stein's, Stein's money. money. Promotional consideration provided by Capitol Records, huge collection of music CDs, power performances from great artists such as Dexter Freebish and Dave Koz. Music past and present for your listening pleasure from Capitol Records. You're watching Comedy Central. It's time for some ad-libbing from across the Atlantic. Whose line is it anyway is coming up...